The Washington Post calls it an affront to decency. The Post is referring to a campaign ad paid for by Virginia's Republican Party attacking Democrat Dan Helmer, a member of Virginia's House of Delegates who is running for re-election. Mr. Helmer is a lieutenant colonel in the Army Reserve. In the ad attacking Lieutenant Colonel Helmer, Virginia's Republicans removed the military insignias from the clothes he's wearing in the photo. They altered the photo in other ways. They then manipulated a photograph to depict Lieutenant Colonel Helmer adoring piles of gold. So, Dan Helmer, who is Jewish, and famously so, uh, with, with his election district, because his grandmother, Edith Shapiro, who is a Holocaust survivor, said this when he was sworn in to the Virginia House of Delegates. Dan, darling, I am very happy that you are continuing to repay this amazing country for the great debt that our family and many others owe her and its people for giving us a chance at a second life. Arriving with close to nothing, we worked our way up, but we never forgot. And look where we are today. Joining us now is Democratic State Delegate Dan Helmer, Virginia. He's a West Point graduate, served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He's a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Army Reserves. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. What was your reaction when you saw that manipulated photograph of yourself that the Republican Party in Virginia has been using? Lawrence is somebody who has served our country, who's fought so hard to keep our community safe, protecting a woman's access to uh, reproductive health care, making sure we can back on violence. I've stood up to hate whenever I could see it, and I was just stunned to see that kind of hate brought into our community for my kids to have to see that sort of anti-Semitic trope. It has no place in our politics, and to see that it's being funded by the Republican Party by tens of thousands of dollars from Trump and Glenn Youngkin, it's, it's just really a surprise. Uh, the Washington Post does not uh, reach into uh state legislation, state legislative campaigns very often. They do cover Virginia. There's a Virginia section of the paper, uh, but it is unusual for them. They, they, they clearly, to raise it to the level of an, of an editorial, means that they fear not just that ad, but that a, a possible trend developing in Republican politics. We have seen a tremendous amount of this use of vile anti-Semitic tropes We've seen in other races uh, posting of black candidates uh, in ropes. Uh, this is just abhorrent. And uh, I'm just stunned and appreciative of all the support, all those who've gone to danhelmer.com, made a firm statement that we will not stand up for this hate. I have to ask you about your grandmother, having just seen her, uh, Edith Shapiro. Has she seen this material that the Republican Party is putting out in Virginia? She has. I mean, she she lived in hiding in Poland, uh, barely survived with her family the war uh, based on a good Samaritan and keeping them there. Uh, she had left this behind. And uh, as you saw in the earlier clip, was really celebrating, uh, had celebrated my service in uniform, was there when I was pinned as a lieutenant at West Point, uh, welcomed me back from Iraq and Afghanistan and welcomed me into the General Assembly. She thought we had left all this behind. And to see this kind of thing here in our country, uh, to know that my opponent, the Republican Party of Virginia, is willing to stoop to these levels is really a surprise and has redoubled her commitment to make sure we continue the fight against hate. What did you tell your grandmother about it? Well, I mean, she called me. She saw it uh, as well when the Post put it out. And, and, she, uh, and we said, you know, this is why we are here, trying to make a safer and inclusive community. And uh, I mean, I think she is a proud American. Uh, I'm a proud American, and uh, we just remain committed to making sure that our country doesn't uh, go in this direction and that we stand up against hate here in our community. Dan Helmer, thank you very much for joining us tonight, and my best to your grandmother. Hope she's watching. Uh, thank you so much, Lawrence. I hope she is, too. Love you, Grandma. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.